out. Welcome to the advanced version of the how to use the media manager in Dote. If you have not already watched the basic version of how you use the media manager in Dote, then we uh, recommend that you go back and watch that before you engage with this more advanced and more sophisticated ways of using uh, the media manager. In this tutorial, I'll be covering a few steps in, uh, in the more advanced ways of using the media manager. Uh, first of all, I will show you how you can uh, uh, work with different media files and media sources across different transcripts. So if we first of all go to the media manager, then we will see that uh, we have a number of different media files associated with this project. Uh, at the moment, I only have activated two different media files that are that is the GG G1 T1 and the Inst360 uh, Pro. So uh, this is available, all of these files are available, but I have only activated two of the, the files in my uh, current uh, transcript. So uh, you can see that we have these two files also available and I can change between them uh, when playing back the video. Uh, what I also like to show you if that that this is this is like the project container. So if I go and then open a different project, uh, or sorry, different transcript in uh, this project file, then I can go and say open transcript, and then I can select the Jeffersonian Pro. And uh, now you will see a warning first of all. And that warning is caused by the fact that I haven't activated all the different media files that are associated with this particular transcript. So, like, imagine that the, the project is containing many different media files, but depending on the transcript that you want to work on, you can activate different media files. So, this is, uh, this is a warning that displaying that one of the media files are not active. And you can also see down here in our uh, timeline panel down here with the video cues, that uh, red um, icons are popping up. And that is also illustrating that one of the media files are missing or not. It is actually not activated yet. It's not missing. So, I will go to Media Manager and then you can see that one of these files are not active yet. So I can click that and activate that, and now it should be activated. Uh, and you see that the icons are now green, so I can jump to this particular uh, view and also look at the media from that particular uh, point of view. So you can jump between different existing projects, but you can also create a, a, a new transcript within your project. So, so we have these different transcripts within our projects, but we can also create a new transcript based on the existing uh, media files that are associated with our project. So now I'll just go and create a new transcript using file and then new transcript. And I can call this update. And I will select the Jeffersonian because that's what I'm working on at the moment. And I'll hit create. So this is a completely blank transcript and you can see nothing, nothing is typed in yet. Uh, and I can start working on my transcript from scratch. Uh, here you will also see that if we go to the media manager that currently we only have the Insta360 Pro uh, activated, but I can activate the different other uh, media files. So this is a very powerful way of working with uh, different medias and different transcripts inside Dode. Um, a thing that can happen when you work with uh, different media files is of course, uh, you can experience problems with the waveform generation. Uh, we have uh, built in a uh, very easy way to handle this. If you go to settings, if you have problems generating the waveform, then you can uh, download uh, FFmpeg and FFprobe. Uh, you will need both when you are on a Mac. Um, so now we can just download that. And uh, this is uh, good when you uh, want to uh, create waveforms that uh, the, our in built-in uh, wave, waveform generator cannot handle. So we will download it. And you see now uh, Dode is downloading the different files. 
and that is it. You can now see that they are installed and Dota ha is, is linked to uh, these two programs. They are freely available, uh, so they come of no charge. So we will close that and then you should experience no problems with generating the waveform. So we always recommend that you download FFmpeg and FFprobe. If you are like changing the media file or you are including another media file and then you uh, want to generate a, a waveform anew, then you can go to Media Manager and then you can uh, regenerate waveform uh, catch. So this will allow me to generate the waveform once again. So if I have changed the media file, uh, I could have like uh, embedded subtitles to the media file and then I want to make sure that the waveform is correct. Uh, then I can regenerate uh, the waveform. Dote can of course handle many different media forms uh, and, and media sources. You see that we can handle 360 degree video, we can also handle uh, traditional 2D videos, we can handle most uh, audio sources. Here we have a WAV file. Uh, so Dote is really powerful uh, and will allow you to handle many different media sources. However, there are also some restrictions when it comes to media files uh, in Dote. For instance, we don't recommend that you work with uh, 5K or 8K video for that case, uh, because most computers will not be able to handle that and it will not be a very good experience transcribing that, uh, no matter how uh, fast and powerful your computer is. So always uh, transcode your video to something that is uh, playable uh, on your computer. Then we will of course also not handle uh, 180 degree video at the moment. Uh, we will not be able to uh, handle Amazonics uh, audio. So there are of course a few limitations, but we will handle all 360 degree formats uh, and we will also handle traditional 2D video and audio sources. So uh, by by that we actually think that uh, Dota is a very powerful tool for uh, a transcription environment for, ha for handling your media files. Uh, so that was a more advanced way of uh, dealing with video uh, using the uh, de dealing with media files in in Dote. Uh, you saw how you could use the media manager to uh, work with different media files across your transcripts within a project. Uh, so uh, hopefully you have learned how to do that uh, in Dote now, and stay tuned for more tutorials.